was 14 days old when we saw the heart doctor. And then he did another echo, more extensive, and then admitted us from the doctor's appointment. And he had surgery the next day at 15 days old for his heart. Actually, two months from today, he had heart surgery. Two, two yeah, months May, ago, today, May 28th. Uh, and then he ended up having um, two more surgeries in Indianapolis and two chemical pleurodesises in order to stop all the fluid coming out of his chest tube. Um, got him a little bit more stable and that's where we started talking to Nationwide um, because they have their IR team here with the imaging that they can look in to see what was going on with him. So he came via helicopter. So, but we had to leave early because I'd like I wanted to be here by the time we got here and the difference in time and <laughs> so it was kind of a nerve wracking time. But um, yeah, it's been good. Uh, we were kind of getting sick of eating out in Indianapolis, yeah. so we at least get food yeah. here. So we were very grateful for that because uh -huh. um, it's a little bit more like home when yeah. you can't be at home. I thought it was very clean and and nice and welcoming whenever we entered through the door. They were friendly. Yeah, and they were helpful if we had any questions. He uh, comes from work, so it's, so it's four like four hours from work. Yeah. But. It's about 500 miles round trip. I've done it about once every month. Yeah. So every three weeks I come and visit. Oh, I give her a hug. <laughs> That's the first thing. But. He works nights. Yeah. So he yeah. goes in at like 10 p.m. And then works till the morning, and then drives here four hours. <laughs> I pull, I pull a twenty-four hour. Yeah, day so that that's first a loaded day. question. Yeah. <laughs> he's 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 here, but he's not always with it <laughs> coherently until the next day. But he's downstairs, <laughs> yeah. in the gaming when room, I do laundry. The laundry <laughs> he has fun. It's like the only time I look forward to doing laundry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Waiting for it to we finish. Played, we haven't got, played pool yet. Yeah. But, yeah, we've got the, their little arcade little games arcade are games. fun to game, mind yeah. break from yeah. the hospital time. But his heart and everything is great. Yeah. Okay. Um, we don't have any issues with what we went into the hospital with. Okay. It's and just this. He got secondary. his chest tube out yesterday. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's had um, he's had six chest tubes. Yeah. This last one has been in since he got here. Um, so it's been in since July 26th. Um, so it finally came out. It hasn't had any drain drainage for a month. So he's had three surgeries, six chest tubes, um, two chemical pleurodesises. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, your guys' support has has meant the world to us, and and it continues to help a bunch of families. And I mean, it's just from everything like having a comfortable bed and not something yeah. uncomfortable to having like toilet paper um you know or Clorox wipes or whatever you need I mean yeah. small stuff so grateful to I mean, have that access nice kitchen yeah. the, the kitchen the yeah. food you can fix your own so just the variety of options that yeah. you're able to have I mean if you want to fix your own food if you want to eat this food you know you can have the leftovers all the supplies you get, you know, hand soap, dish soap. I mean, it's just stuff that um, you wouldn't think about. Um, like, not a big deal to grab when you're at home. But <laughs> here, as I've found, it's, it's bothersome to your heart to have to leave the hospital for a time period when you never know how things are going to go. And, like, to have to run out to get soap or to get toilet paper or just that you know, non-essential stuff that you don't worry about. It's just nice to not have to worry about going to get that and, and have relieves, to leave. Relieve some stress mm -hmm. too.